This past Monday, during the floor debate on SB 685, information presented by the sponsor did not tell the whole story. In the description of the bill, the bill sponsor made the change in accounting methods seem like the primary reason the bill was needed. However, when questioned on the change, it became apparent that the intent was to deem equipment as capital. The entire reason for this bill is that Moni Township and other townships want to deem equipment as capital so they continue to overtax residents. Why is this? It is because there's no statutory caps on capital funds. So a change in the definition of equipment is so that you can continue to tax as much as you want. Is this what you all intended to vote for? Unlimited property taxes on the townships? Well, that's what happened. Several taxing bodies in Will County, in fact, got sued by taxpayers for holding three to nine times the amount of taxes they could by law in their general assistance and many other funds. Our law only allows for townships to accumulate two and a half times their annual expenditures except for capital. Monee Township, which the bill sponsor mentioned, has been sued for at least the last four years in 2018, 19, 20, and 21 for significantly overtaxing the owners against our laws. The law actually does the opposite of what we should be doing. We should be reining in the township's ability to tax. We should penalize them when discovered that they tax beyond the statutory limit of two and a half times instead of forcing taxpayers to file suit against the government that knowingly violates this law. We should have a law that automatically refunds the excess taxes collected. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem here. The bill got passed with very little, very little scrutiny. The committee hearing on this bill was a sham. I'm the minority spokesperson in the Committee of Counties and Townships and was the lead opposition on the bill. My discussion on the bill was cut off by the chairman. He and others were completely uninterested in hearing about the nuances of this bill. To make things worse, after the bill was passed, the sponsor came to me and asked to work out our differences. However, we should have done this, this bill should have been pulled, and we should have worked on those differences before this bill came to the floor to, to be voted on. The corruption through law breaking and the corruption through bad policy. Is it any wonder that several elected and current former members uh, throughout the state of Illinois are either indicted or under investigation in this state? Like we've seen before, this is a perfect example that when someone gets caught doing something illegal, they run to the state house to make their action legal. In short, break the law, change the law. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.